Hey everybody, it's Mike coming to you from Vaught RV here in Fort Worth. Today I'd like to show you a Jayco Eagle 332 CBOK. This is a rear kitchen model that I really like, a great couples camper. Before we get started on the inside, let's do a quick walk around on the outside. All right, guys, let's get started on the outside walk around. I really like this floor plan. It's a really neat couples camper, really spacious, very livable. And because it's an Eagle, it's rated for full time living. It's tested from zero to 100 degrees. It's a true four season camper. So let's walk around on the outside. Immediately, I see that this guy's been gen prepped. So if you want to add a generator in this generator tray up here, it's already been prepped to do that. If you don't want to do that, you have a little extra cubby space for more storage. All right, let's go around to the utility side of the unit and I'll show you the utility bay, as I call it, because this is where you're gonna hook up everything and control all the water settings. Whether you're filling the tanks, dry camping or so on, everything is nicely labeled in a Jayco. There's a quick connect spray port right here so that you can, it's hot and cold, so you can spray off your feet at the beach and so on. And then your holding tank valves right here, two gray and one black. Now your auto level controls are right here. You can control them from here, but you can also control them from inside as well as your phone. Now these are motion sensor lights. This one's not turned on yet, but once it's turned on, as soon as you break this plane, those lights are going to come on. Now we have rear cameras as well as, I should say side cameras as well as rear cameras on this unit too. Always like it when there's a little bonus storage area like there is on this one. So there's a neat little extra storage compartment in addition to that storage uh, area in front for the pass-through area. You have a six gallon direct spark ignition water heater. This is your furnace vent and a detachable 50 amp power cord. This little green light tells me I've got power up to here. It's a handy little troubleshooting thing in the event that you plug in at a campground, you don't have power inside. Come out here and look and see if you've got a green light. If you do, then we know we've got power to that point of the coach. Walking around to the back, low point drain. Jayco labels everything nicely. So if you're going to winterize this or sanitize the uh, the water tanks and so on. There's a water low point drain labeled up in here. Um, we have a ladder to get up on top. If you need to do that occasionally, there is a hitch receiver here on which you can put a cargo carrier, bring some extra firewood and that kind of thing. It's got a 300 pound weight limit. And then you can see we've got our rear camera up top as well. Now, sneaking around to what I call the fun side of the trailer. This is where all the fun stuff happens. We're 40 feet long here and about 12,250 pounds or so gross weight, fully loaded weight. So this is not a small trailer. One thing that's a plus on a bumper pull of this size rather than a fifth wheel is its front uh, flat from front to back. No steps to navigate once you get up in the unit. So for folks that may have knee or hip problems and you just don't want to navigate steps going up into the bedroom, the Eagle travel trailers come into play as a, as a good candidate for you. Now we have our little outdoor kitchen area here. We have a utensil drawer. This is all enamel, waterproof. Uh, little drink refrigerator here as well. You've got lights out here. You've got a bottle opener. There's power in here to put a coffee maker or a blender. USB ports, turn those lights on. And then on the other side of the steps is a J port in which you can put a griddle. So uh, why is it here and not next to the rest of the outdoor kitchen? Yeah, I don't know, I can give you a good guess. That's in a slide out, right? So this J port has an arm that goes in here on which the griddle platform rests. It would be difficult, if not impossible, to do that in the slide. So right here's where your cooking is going to happen. We've got JBL speakers on the outside of this coach. And then let's look in here. Here's our pass-through storage going through to the other side. And here's that griddle platform I was telling you about. Now. I'm going to show you this as a little visual aid. This is what this sidewall looks like, okay? This was cut out to put a washer dryer in on another unit. This is the exterior surface right here. 
This is the interior wallboard, and then you have foam core insulation in the middle. Now, all Jayco Eagles are vacuum bonded. This entire wall assembly is put into a vacuum. 144 tons for 16 minutes, which virtually eliminates the possibility of DLAM over the lifetime of the coach. And this is kind of gives you an idea of what it looks like on the inside of this sort of wall sandwich. So just wanted to show that off to you. We do have power out here. So if you want to string some lights up over your awning, you can do that. You kind of have to do that. That's one of the camping camping 101 rules. You got to have lights on your awning, right? So uh, it's once you buy these things, then you find all these fun things you can do with them and the way you can decorate them and personalize them to your own tastes. And a lot of people will hang lights on the awnings. Uh, and I like to do that. So we open up this door and we can see that these Moride step above steps are easy to deploy like so. I call them zero gravity because see, even at this point, it's not gonna come slamming down. Each one of these legs is easily adjustable. So let's go on the inside and have a look. One thing I like about this unit on the inside is we have an island here as well as a table and chairs here. So plenty of prep area. If you like to cook when you're out camping, this is a great option. I can do food prep over here turn around and cook it here. I've got my oven and then sink here. This is a really neat usable floor plan, especially if you enjoy cooking. Speaking of which, I have a 22 cubic foot Whirlpool side-by-side -side refrigerator with ice and water in the door. Lots of storage in there for groceries. Now, this is really neat. It has a cottage feel with this corner sink area and windows up here. If you're planning on wintering somewhere in the south, I'm just picturing a couple plants up here. It's really bright and open, has a cottage feel. There's a little dimmer switch up here. If you just hold your finger right on that, you can dim the lights above the sink right here and they'll come back to bright again. There's also a switch here for this vent right above this area. So if you wanna vent some of the uh, chopping onion smells and the heat or whatever out, I can uh, open up this vent here remotely and I can turn the fan on remotely. So that's real handy. I can do it just from the switch here right at the sink and then close it back. We do have power up here, a GFI protected power outlet. And then underneath the sink is a five gallon water jug. Now that water jug is supplying water up to this spigot right here. So you know you're cooking and drinking that water, not RV park water, which isn't always the greatest. Now, pivoting around here, uh, a little storage up in top. I've got four drawers down here, full extension drawer glides with ball bearing drawer glides. Little oven with backlit controls. Turn the oven light on there. More storage under there. This shows off our strainer for the sink as well as a teak cutting board that goes into the sink. Three burner cooktop. You can remove this easily for cleaning and wiping this down. And then this is, of course, a backsplash, but if I fold this back down, this is a knife holder up here. I can put knives in there to keep them safely stowed. And then up top of the cooktop, we've got a microwave oven. This is a residential size microwave oven up here. All right, it's lighted and vented to the outside. Now we have a neat pantry right here that has a motion sensor light in it, and these shelves are all adjustable. So if you have some tall items down on the bottom or whatever, you can adjust those uh, shelves infinitely. Now this is actually a liquid chalkboard right here. So you can put your grocery list or your schedule for your trip up here is a really neat thing to do and then just wipe it off. But it's designed to be a liquid chalkboard. Now coming back on the other side of this island, you can also access the storage from this side as well. So that's really handy to put those larger pots and pans in there. I really like that. Table and chairs here. So there's two more chairs to match these, but if you want to expand this, simply lift up and pull this out. And now there's room for four folks to sit around this uh, table. And there's a little bit of storage underneath each seat too. That's kind of neat. 
Now we have our recliners again right across from the TV where it should be. Smart TV and you've got a uh, fireplace underneath that with a JBL sound system. So really, really fantastic uh, entertainment system. These are recliners. There's a little tab right in here. Just pull straight up and I have a great TV viewing angle. That TV is adjustable. So if you're sitting eating over there and you want to angle it toward the table, just pull it out and angle it toward the kitchen area. Or if say you've got somebody sitting here on this love seat, we can angle it over this way too. So that's handy. There's a little bit of storage up on top here as well. Now this is a trifold that folds out into a bed. So these two back cushions come off, boom, 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 and we have a trifold and you do have a little bit of extra sleeping capacity there. Can't have too much storage and there's quite a bit in this. Now we're 40 feet long, remember? So there's more storage in this than there will be a typical smaller bumper pool. USB ports everywhere for charging your gadgets. This is a little thermistor that's sampling the air temperature. Of course, household current here. Now this has the BM Pro system on it. This is the brains of the coach. It's an Android tablet. So you have your climate control here where I can control the AC here in the main compartment and the second AC that's in the bedroom. If I go to this little droplet, these are all my tank levels. The little gear motor shows me all the motors, so leveling, your slides, awnings, everything can be controlled here. And then your lighting schemes, and I can dim them by just dragging this like so. Now the neat thing is, put this app on your phone, and you can control all these functions also from your phone. Um, this looks like a neat little picture frame, and it would be a great place to put a picture, but it's actually access to plumbing. Our bathroom's on the other side here, so if you ever did need to do some plumbing maintenance, instead of having to cut a hole in the wall, Jayco frames that right in there like that. Pretty cool. Let's take a peek in here. Really big walk-in shower, which is fantastic. So, yeah, I'm six feet tall. This is really a spacious shower. There is a little bench here to sit down. We have a glass shower enclosure here, which is real stylish. Matte black fixtures all the way around. There is a undermount sink here on this vanity area. And notice we're in this nice blue color that 90, what, how much? 94.35% is the last time we calculated. 94. Point something percent of you all said that you like this blue color and, and Jayco's carrying this over by the way into 2023 so anyway got some storage here drawer storage and we have a nice medicine cabinet here as well as another cabinet next to it so very stylish now this is a porcelain foot flush toilet so it's porcelain upgrade light switches towel rack behind here Sneak around here and take a look into the bedroom. Now one thing's neat about this is the bed is in a slide. So rather than have the bed north-south oriented like you'll see in some travel trailers, you've got this in a slide. When it's north-south and you have a king bed like this, there is very little room on either side of the bed. Put the bed in a slide like this. Now we've got quite a bit of room in here to maneuver. Still not a ton of room on either side of the bed, so if you wanted to get this option with a queen, you certainly can do that. Now there are guest struts on this, so it's easy to lift. These are our two matching chairs for the table up there. Here's your griddle that goes on the outside. And then, of course, you have your camera package. This is the monitor for your side and rear cameras. Now you have outlets on either side of the bed. There, you see this white sticker. And also on the other side, these are inverter powered switches. So we have a residential fridge here, which means we have an inverter on board. Those outlets stay hot, even if you don't have shore power or generator, those outlets are hot. So if you pull over, want to take a nap, uh, during a trip, you can hook up a CPAP machine, that kind of thing, and those powered uh, outlets stay powered. Now, if you want to add a washer and dryer, that's where it's going to go. 
you can actually put the dryer on one side and the washer on the other or if you want to put the put a combo unit in you can but you can put a split washer and dryer then in the middle you got nice closet storage for hanging items shelves in the back and then two drawers here as well quite a bit of storage so and the ability to add a washer and dryer is nice a little storage area up top here as well now a quick note uh, well i should point out this storage as well we've got six drawers here full extension drawer glides um, option this with a television up top here always insignia brand tvs and always roller shades and all the eagles now this has the whisper quiet ac system hvac system i should say so this is a return and these are your ducts so the reason it's so quiet and i have it running on high right now by the way is the helix shape of the duct work that's up in the ceiling where you can't see it instead of right angle turns it's a gradual helix more air volume can come through those ducts without resistance. It's less resistance on the fan motor and it's quieter. So really makes for a, you can be watching TV and having a conversation and not be drowned it out by the sound of the air conditioner. So, hey, we're in a 332 CBOK, uh, really neat coach here with a lot of features, very comfortable for full-time living or you just want to travel and vacation in style, this isn't the worst choice, right? If you have questions about this or other units, just drop them in the comments below. And while you're down there, why don't you click like and subscribe? That way you'll be the first to know when we post another video just like this one. My name is Mike. I appreciate you joining me, and I'll see you next time. Howdy, everybody. Thanks for joining me today. I hope you learned a thing or two from what I had to say. If you did and feel like it, then click subscribe below. And when I post a video, you'll be the first to know. See you next time.